Furman moved to this campus in about 1960, and prior to that it had been a, a farm, a cotton farm actually. And the area, especially the central campus area around the academic buildings, was massively re-landscaped and changed. And there were really no trees left in that area. All the trees that we have on the mall and around the academic buildings were planted at about that time. Since Furman moved to this campus until about 2000, we really didn't have a designated arboretum. And about the year 2000, uh, President Shai, when he was president at the time, suggested to me that uh, maybe we should start labeling trees as an arboretum. An arboretum is defined as a collection of trees that have been uh, labeled and uh, made available as an educational tool to the public. And so that's the main benefit of the arboretum itself, is that it helps people learn about the world around them. My involvement with the Arboretum really stemmed out of uh, prim primarily through the celebration of Arbor Day uh, and our recognition as a Tree Campus USA campus. Um, so as part of the Tree Campus USA uh, um, standards that we have to meet, there is this annual celebration and so our department's been very active and involved uh, as well as my classes in terms of helping with that celebration. I decided to use the Arbor Day as an opportunity to get students involved um, but really involved them almost in a research exercise. We decided on what's known as the collective lab um, and focused on doing a campus tree inventory. So one of the great things actually about this exercise is in addition to having students go out and, and collect all the individual tree data, we could compile all of the data and actually give them some really hard stats in terms of the value of trees. And the, the cool thing uh, from Furman's perspective, given the, the abundance of trees, um, it is amazing when students kind of realize just how big of a role these trees actually play. For instance, in terms of if you look at stormwater mitigation, uh, the trees here on main campus um, hold somewhere on the tune of about four million gallons of water uh, over the course of the year. And that's water that otherwise probably would have run off. They sequester carbon. So if you tally up all the carbon uh, that's been sequestered, it's somewhere to the tune of about 538 tons of carbon of CO2 that's actually been sequestered. Um, and then obviously people are interested in the valuation. So, um, there's a, a great program that is a tree benefits calculator where you can input, uh, again, the, the, the circumference of the tree, uh, the type of tree it actually is, and the setting, and it will provide you a dollar amount per tree. And when you tally that all up for all the trees on main campus, it comes to about $250,000 per year in just having those trees, again, be. Trees have a great deal of intrinsic value. They help to purify the atmosphere, to remove carbon dioxide, reduce our carbon footprint, release oxygen that we all need to breathe. They help to maintain the soil and make sure that there's less erosion. And then of course there's the beauty factor. Our campus is frequently cited as one of the most beautiful campuses in the country, even in the world and uh, it wouldn't be that way without the trees. It's not just the buildings, so they have enormous aesthetic value in terms of the beauty of the campus. I use it as a teaching tool in my field botany class that I teach in the biology department, but uh, it also helps to educate the general public every time someone comes to go jogging, walking around the lake. Uh, they see that and they begin to learn more about the species that are around them in, their, in, in nature. The Shy Center has been very useful in uh, setting up the, the program. When the Arboretum first started, there wasn't a Shy Center, the building wasn't here, and Furman didn't have a dedicated facility for sustainability. That kind of came along afterwards. But now that they're here, the Shy Center maintains the, the funds that we have for upkeep of the Arboretum, and most of the students who work on this are uh, Arboretum fellows who are again working through the Shy Center. Um, all of these students have uh, really put a lot into it. It's not just my program, it's a, uh, uh, a program that is uh, helped out and, uh, and really in many cases led by student fellows. <laughs>